hope you're having a wonderful day so far. It is Wednesday, May 12th, and on Wednesdays we do cooking. Our theme this week is dinosaurs, and I thought we could do a fun snack mix based on this book. This book is called We Don't Eat Our Classmates by Ryan T. Higgins. And if you don't mind, before we make the snack mix, I'd like to, to read the book to you. So let's get started. We Don't Eat Our Classmates by Ryan T. Higgins. And then it says, this little, this little uh, T-Rex says, Hey kids, you will never be eaten by a T-Rex. They are extinct, I promise. Penelope Rex was nervous. It is not every day that a little T-Rex starts school. It is very nerve-wracking. See, look, there's her, pen, there's her name above her door, and there's Mom. What are my classmates going to be like? Will they be nice? How many teeth will they have? This was very important. Look, she looks very nervous. Penelope's mom bought her a new backpack with ponies on it. Ponies were Penelope's favorite because ponies are delicious. Penelope's dad packed her a lunch of 300 tuna sandwiches and one apple juice. Finally, the big day came. And Penelope Rex was very surprised to find out that all of her classmates were <gasps> children. Oh. So she ate them because children are delicious. <gasps> Penelope Rex, said Mrs. Noodleman. We don't eat our classmates. Please spit them out at once. So she did. It was not the best way to start school. Still, Penelope was determined to have a good first day. She tried hard to make friends at recess. She finger painted some of her best work. She even saved Griffin Emery a seat at lunch. You can sit here, right on my plate. Penelope started to notice everyone was making friends but her. It was lonely. When she got home, her dad asked about her first day of school. I didn't make any friends, Penelope cried. None of the children wanted to play with me. Penelope Rex, her father asked, did you eat your classmates? Well, maybe, sort of just a little bit. Sometimes it's hard to make friends, said her dad, especially if you eat them. You see, Penelope, children are the same as us on the inside, just tastier. That gave Penelope a lot to think about. The next day, Penelope tried really hard, but poor Penelope could not stop herself from eating her classmates. Mrs. Noodleman, Penelope ate William Amato again, and they were all afraid of her. Except Walter. Walter was a goldfish, so Penelope tried to make friends with him. Will you be my friend? <gasps> Chop! Oh no. Yee! cried Penelope. He's eating my finger! Wah! Oh, she's very unhappy. Once Penelope found out, what it's like to be someone's snack. She lost her appetite for children. So she stopped 
eating her classmates. Even when Cece Woodman spilled barbecue sauce all over herself. And soon Penelope made friends. Found you! Want a brownie? I helped make them. Now, even when children look especially delicious, she peeks at Walter and remembers what it's like to tr when someone tries to eat you. She looks a little afraid of Walter. And Walter, the goldfish, stares right back at her and licks his lips. She looks very afraid. Because dinosaurs are delicious. The end. So Penelope found out what it's like to be someone's snack. So we are going to make a snack. The first thing that we need for this snack, this is what the snack looks like. It's a snack mix. We need dinosaur shaped gummies. So I actually managed to find dinosaur, dinosaur shaped gummy candy and dinosaur shaped fruit snacks. So the fruit snacks are probably a little healthier. So we can put and I, it does not say how much of each of these to put in. So I think it's kind of up to you as to how much you want to put in. Um, wow, they, they don't want you getting in the dinosaur gummies, the fruit snacks. So I'm going to put three bags of dinosaur shaped fruit snacks. And then I'll put a little bit of the bag of... Um, of dinosaur gummies. There are our dinosaur gummy, our fruit snacks. I think this is a stegosaurus maybe? The, oh, here's a brontosaurus. The fruit snacks, oh, nope, this one's the stegosaurus. There we go. Um, here's another brontosaurus. Maybe Stegosaurus and Brontosaurus. I oh, know there's got to be a Tyrannosaurus in there. That's a Brontosaurus. There's a, a Tyrannosaurus. So we'll put the dinosaur-shaped fruit snacks in. Those are on obviously the dinosaurs. Then we are going to put a little bit of the um, dinosaur actual gummies. A few of those. Here is a Tyrannosaurus. Here is a dual colored Stegosaurus. Here is a Triceratops, dual colored, and a Brontosaurus. There we go. Put a few more in there. Look, there's a red and blue Brontosaurus. So we'll put a few of those in there. Then we need some bugles, and of course they could not find a small bag of bugles, so we're gonna just put a few of these bugles. The bugles re re represent their scales, the dinosaur scales, teeth, and claws. So I'll put a few of those in there. We need some candy coated almonds. I could not find actual candy coated almonds, so I found M&M, almond M&Ms. But they're very colorful, and I thought these are supposed to look like dinosaur eggs. So I thought maybe the coffee nut M&M's have more uh, browns and I thought maybe those might be a better color, but I don't know. Because we already have multicolored um, dinosaurs in there. Dinosaurs are not red and blue. So I don't know, maybe, maybe we put a little bit of the almond M&M's and a little bit of the coffee nut M&M's. 
since this is a snap mix, we can kind of, um, I'm only going to put, put, put a handful in. And like I said, since this is a snack, snack mix, we can kind of decide what we want to put in. Does not necessarily have to be. Um, oh, those do look, I think these look like dinosaur eggs. See? There we go. Then we need Chex cereal. I didn't get Chex, I got corn squares. Corn, um, corn, it's the, uh, it's the Walmart brand of the Chex cereal. I'm not sure exactly what the Chex stands for, is, it represents, but you know. Then we need um, mini pretzels. Got some mini pretzels. These ones are even cheddar ones. Couldn't find regular ones. I've been having a hard time finding some some of the stuff that we need for our uh, for our cooking activities lately. Then we need dry roasted peanuts. Like I said, I'm not sure what some of this stuff is supposed to represent, other than it's delicious. I think it's delicious. I love. Um, dry roasted peanuts. I actually prefer the unsalted kind, so we're going to put a few in here. Then we want some dried cranberries. I accidentally got cherries instead of cranberries, it, but I think that um, I think that the gra or dried cherries will be just as tasty as dried cranberries. So we'll put some dried cherries in there. And then goldfish, because goldfish think dinosaurs are delicious. Oh look, the goldfish bag now comes with a resellable. Although I suspect that I'm gonna end up having to rip it. I did, I did end up having to rip it. So it doesn't resell. I'm so grateful you guys put up with me. Okay, now we're just going to toss this together. There we go. That is our We Don't Eat Our Classmates Dinosaur Snack Mix. So, bugles. Yummy. Dried cram er, er, cherry. Very yummy. Mmm. Try a coffee nut M&M. Very yummy. I think that works. I think our, there, there are our dinosaurs. Here we go. I hope you enjoy. I hope you get to make this snack mix. Ooh, it's very good. I will enjoy eating this. Have a great day, guys. Bye.